Hello again everyone, this is Vincent and this is a new walkthrough series which I'll be doing for a game on Congregate called, I'll be calling it Constructor because that's the English transliteration of the um, Russian word Constructor. I'll just edit this bit out so I don't spoil the ending for you. Um, you can you can um, read my game of view on on the the Stone Dragons blog, which can which is linked through our channel. Um, basically, this game is about using NNP type silicon to build um, microchips. Um, the gameplay is you have to build the you have to build the chip put, and you get given a a um battery of on off pulses which is your input and you have to give a a um required out output of so of a certain order of on off pulses uh the closest compa um gaming comparison i can give you is is the redstone system in minecraft although it's not exactly the same and i'll be doing the levels from level 1 to 19 in in order um before you read before you watch this um Walk through. I highly recommend that you watch the watch the tutorial video. You just go to any of the levels. The first four will be accessible to you, and um, click on the help tab and play the tutorial video. There is a pause button um, if you need it to if you need to slow the video down, which I highly recommend because judging from the comments on the on the congregate the congregate comments on this game many people seem to not realize some seem to miss some of the instructions such as using the shift key to be able to access secondary functions such as accessing p type silicon and delete metal that's what that's when i'm holding shift on this is when i release it and um also you can use shift when you select to um copy paste stuff you can't really see it there anyway um, this level it is the quad inverter gate, and the truth table truth table there says whenever we have an input A of or zero or off, we should have an input what output I mean Y of one or on, and in and the inverse when A is on or one Y is zero or off. Graphically, um, you can see it here when A is on, Y is off, and when A is off, Y is on. I'll just demonstrate the base, the um, PNP, the PNP logic gate here. Let's draw them up first. How the um, PNP gate works is is how you draw a gate. You have um, the two different types of silicon. You draw the n types. You drag the n type silicon over the bar of three p p type silicon. How 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 the p PNP gate works is that whenever you have a current flowing through here, and there is no current flowing into the N type silicon, which we call a base in real life in um, transistors, then when we have the cu no current flowing in there, then the current can is passed through. Otherwise, the um, current there is no current flowing out of here. That is when either there is no current flowing in the f in the um, collector or the the um, in input end, or there is input flowing in, or there is an on charge flowing into the base or the end silicon. Um, as a note, those four boxes in the corners are, or the plus VCCs are, all, are considered always on um, charges. So when you connect, when you connect any wire to them, they are automatically always on. And um, you use these vias, which is those circle things, to connect metal with silicon, which you have to do because only metal can connect with these boxes here. In fact, they actually um, cover this level 
in the tutorial video but um, I'm just gonna do it just to complete my walkthrough and in case some people don't watch the tutorial video because there is no formal instructions page now we're just gonna test it if you're wondering why there's a weird spike there and there's, if you can see it with this video quality a small deviation from the re requirement from the um, actual output it matters because there is a in an inherent delay involved with um you, with um putting with um switching these gates on and off using the current um it will take one tick of delay to turn this off when you input a current in there so for that one tick where the current is flowing but it's um still propagating the currents can still go through in the meantime but we've passed this level anyway and I'll just fit the next level in as well I'll just need to cut this cut a bit of the video out just to avoid avoid spoiling any again because it keeps popping up every time I leave levels and stuff so this next level is the dual to input and gate so basically our in our input should be one or on whenever both a a input and B input is on. Otherwise, the output is off. And we and I'll be demonstrating the NPN gate. Um, I'll just uh, let's draw them here. How the um. NPN gate works is that current only flows out the emitter end or the out or the output end whenever both the input end or the collector and the base, which is the um, p p silicon um, in the middle, when both of them are on. Otherwise, your output is off. How I remember um, what does what is. Um, NPN stands for not pointing in to block, or not um, this the the base is not pointing in or not on to block, and PNP pointing in please in the middle to block when the base or in the middle is on. So um, I'll that is I'll just finish here, and I'll see you in the next installment of this walkthrough.